Well, let's just do another one of those. I don't know. Wait, using the hero breaks it. I can't use a hero, period? Oh. That's, um... That's rude. I was under the impression uh, that I could use a hero freely. I guess I was wrong. Uh, shoot. I don't want to do this one. Oh, I guess no heroes it is. Yeah, I'll just make a little ninja corner here, and then we'll make the rest of this magic town. This map is actually, like, incredibly convenient. At least for what I'm doing. Let's see, wonder will you ever do multiplayer? I'd actually have to talk to other people about, or talk them into doing it, uh, so, yes, just at some point. The thing is, like, scheduling with other human beings is kind of tough, um, and I'd love to be able to just say someday, like, hey, who wants to, like, hang out and, uh, play, I... Honestly, like, Bloons co-op is something, and is a consider consideration. What I might specifically do is, uh, I might bug my brother about it, see if he'd be interested in, a, in just doing some random Bloons together. Uh, because I, I could see my brother really enjoying this, and, uh, do you know if there's crossplay between the mobile version and the non-mobile version? Because that, that would be the real test. Because, yeah, I wouldn't mind... I would not mind doing uh, some more multiplayer stuff with my brother, especially tower defense games. Because uh, there's a lot of really good tower defense games out there that I I very much... Okay. There is crossplay. Cool. Because I think my brother has an iPad. I could be wrong. But tower defense with my brother I think would be quite fun. I don't actually know how he feels about tower defense games, now that I'm thinking about it. I think he likes them. Okay. I think it goes this way. So I might want to make this, like, crazy druid town. Maybe. Let's get this guy set up, though. Acid pool. That I'm terribly worried about lead currently, I think. All right, I should sw switch this guy to strong. There it goes. All right, now we don't have to worry about lead. Do we... We're doing well enough. It might actually be worth just going for the pure rubber to gold. Oh, converts all balloons partially into gold. Getting more cash per pop from aff affected balloons. Let's give him larger potions in that case. Yeah, so in that in that, let's uh let's actually get a rubber to gold early. Because that should make a lot of money. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the golden balloon. There we go. 
That should help some finances. Tempting to get another one, but we should probably start making the Druid Circle. Uh, I'm going to put this guy here. Let's give him Druidic Reach. Alright, next up, I'm going to try putting one right in the center. If I do Druidic Reach, it gives him just enough space. Perfect. probably get a super monkey down just because I'll definitely want to get a couple more alchemists with the uh, the gold boost that's fine Honestly, I should probably have moved this guy down or something. Or even slapped him right here. Uh, is it too late to sell? Nah, it's never too late to sell. I'll just slap him on the lower section. There we go, that solves a considerable amount of trouble. We might even get a second one over here. the same general thing. Okay. These guys can't actually see stealth, but that's fine. This guy can. Let's see. Bit late to respond as I was timed down for 10 minutes. Your Harry Potter book release story hit a nerve. People being shitty just be shitty other people. Worthy of a special hell. It's just annoying. But, like, I don't know. I, I've always been kind of in the camp of, like, best revenge is always just living well. And so, some part of me is, like, still kind of mad about it. And most of me is just kind of like, you know what? That guy was a shithead to begin with. I know he's not living a great life. Or maybe he is. You know, maybe the dude actually turned around. Uh, shit, this is a problem. Uh, is it? I don't know, that ninja actually kicks some ass. Let's just get a couple more basic ninjas around. Ninja star. Yeah, let's get a, get a second one of these. I just want to spread the golding. Because, yeah, the uh, it doesn't necessarily stack, but I want to guarantee it's on every balloon. Plus, they're still good. There we go. That'll make things nice and dicey. Okay, they're starting to get through. Shit, I lost. It was stealth balloons, in fact. That's okay. You win some, you lose some. I think I forgot to actually cut between episodes. Oh, well. Yeah, best revenge is just living well. I like that, I like that a lot. It's, it's not always the best. Like, there's definitely a certain times where I've just, like, had somebody that lives in my head for far too long. And that, like, even though there's kind of that, that desire of, like, you know, just living better than them, it's hard to get them out of your head. But even then, when it boils down to it, it's like... I don't know. It's still better to focus on trying to live well. 
Even if you fail at it. Even if you're terrible at it. I guess really what I should have gotten was just a wizard monkey with shimmer down. That would have been the trick. We'll just get two of these guys. That'll solve problems. Okay, and as a repeated, somewhat casual reminder of use the backseat pass if you want to tell me to do anything. Because otherwise I'm just going to ignore you. Even if it's useful advice. Or pertinent advice. Because i got to get, get people in the habit of using that, otherwise uh, kibitzing is just going to continue to be a serious problem no matter what. Well, let's get the alchemist monkey down. Yeah, if you don't if you don't know the word kibitzing, I highly recommend looking it up. It is my new favorite word of the year, and it is it haunts me. Like, do you ever do you ever look at like a dictionary? You, somebody tells you a word, and you're like, "What does that word mean?" And they're like, "Oh, it means this and this," and you're like, "Holy shit, that is like the most perfect word ever." Um, like uh, defenestrate, absolutely useless goddamn word completely meaningless for most people's life, but it's so perfect. Uh, and it's so fun to say, but kibitzing, on the other hand, is, like, actually extremely pertinent to my life. And so, uh, being able to say, like, hey, this is a thing. Uh, I don't know, it's neat. Yeah, I think instead of the Sea King Shuriken, let's just go for, uh, the middle tree on the ninjas instead. I like distraction, they really do just go back to the... Oh, that's real good. I don't think we have a whole lot of stealth balloons. I'll just get in on these couple of guys, though. Nah, we don't need another one of these. I don't necessarily know if I need the uh, Super Druid junk, though. Uh, guided magic. So there's nothing that actually gives the wizard more range, it looks like. Ah, faster attacks with increased range, but I still can't get shimmer. And the reason why I want to get shimmer, instead of just letting the, uh, the wizards do it, or the wizards, the... Actually, I'm just gonna stick this guy, like, Right here? Maybe? I don't know. Um, no, we should we should head for lead for gold. Uh, I want to get Shimmer because there's an achievement for revealing stealth balloons. And now that I know achievements give monkey knowledge and money, we kind of want to grab as many of those as we possibly can. Hey, thank you, Lord Hattie, for the 200 bits. Really enjoying your VODs over on YouTube. Thanks for keeping me entertained. Yeah, no problem. Uh-oh. Hey! We're probably going to want another one of these guys. Uh, let's see. I might go for the rubber to gold first, though. Hey, I got it! Okay, got 300,000 bits I can spend on this. There's a website called Frontisserie that has an absurd number of words like that. I'm backseating by telling you to go check it off stream. And you know what? I'm going to do it on stream just because I'm going to forget otherwise. Frontisserie. Obscure words and vocabulary resources. I'm going to hold on to that one. That sounds great. Who's pinging me in Discord and why? Ah. Also, why did my uh, stream preview not work on my Discord announcement? Oh well, you know what? Hard to care.
Uh, let's see. Get rubber to gold. I think I might want to get a couple more. I, I'm i probably going to start by getting just a bunch of these down. E. Time to start investing in shimmer. We got the stealth balloons coming. Those guys will be fine for the moment. I just want to get another lead to gold and then rubber to gold. I guess the other trick would be potentially stacking more of them. Oh, you know what? That's probably the other issue. I forgot to switch these guys to strong. You need to pay points every time you give advice, or is it a lifelong pass? You gotta pay points every single time. Otherwise, people just get really bad. This system just seems a lot more reasonable for a lot of reasons. I uh, Partly also because... Any, ooh. This is a bit concerning. That... Uh, I'm gonna lose. Yeah, the big issue is... Uh, I was too focused on getting the alchemists out. I think I, I think I gotta give up on the wizard. They're not actually that good, uh, at least not currently, not with the way I was building. Probably better to either get one or two of the super monkeys. I don't know. I think I'll get the one alchemist out, maybe with the, uh, the rubber to gold. Because, yeah, I just did not have a whole lot of sustained DPS. Great for clearing out basic balloons. Not great for clearing out a Moab. Hey, three guys stripping camo. I mean, I was rocking it up until the Moab showed up. And even then, the Moab was almost dead. I just need to actually focus my DPS as opposed to, uh... Or focus on DPS as opposed to just... Completely ignoring it, its existence. This is, this is one of those games where it's like... Uh, you can be doing just well enough that nothing is a problem. Uh, and then just one wave goes by that you're just wildly unprepared for and you lose. Uh, it's not like a lot of other tower defense games where it feels like it gets harder and harder and harder. This has a series of difficulty plateaus that if you were not immediately prepared for, you insta-lose, as opposed to, uh... As opposed to, like, it... Well, no, Sanctum 2 definitely had boss monsters that you had to care about. So that one's not a good example. I'd have to think about it. It'd be kind of cool if I could actually see... Uh, you know, what what is upcoming in future rounds, maybe. But also, thank you, Verisog, for the 500 bits, and thank you, Mischievous Art, for the five gifted subs as well. Thank you. That's about learning the waves. Are they consistent? I think I think somebody did mention at some point that the waves are actually incredibly consistent. Yeah, the waves are always the same. It is useful to know. I've I haven't been paying attention. <sighs> I know there was a couple of YouTube comments that were actively telling me what the waves were and that I should probably pay attention to these things, but I I don't know. I think that's the kind of thing I'll care about more once I've tried every tower and learned what I like and what I don't like. Yeah, let's get lead to gold early. And then probably invest in at least two super monkeys. Maybe grab distraction real quick. Either that or we just get a shit ton of... ninjas and not even think about it. Eh.
Okay. Also, thank you, Ori user, for the 300 bits. Citizen Kane for the 100 bits. Uh, Thaudan for the 200 bits, and Ori user for the other 100 bits. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, do we want to... What does more TPS? I... He's hit. Oh, wait, no, no. He'll hit him on the way out. There we go. Because I forgot to switch this guy to strong. As usual. And thank you, Aura user, for the additional 100 bits. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there goes that hype train. Okay, do we? Yeah. In retrospect, putting a super monkey right here in the center probably would have been the way to go. Here. Let's give this guy knockback and laser blast instead of range. Like I did previously. Or is that the... No, that was not the golden balloon. Just going on a loop. That was just being distracted a bunch. Eh, okay. I, I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. Because I think my biggest... Chance at survivability... Is just kind of spreading damage effects. Okay. At least for a little bit. Hey, and again. Uh, he also did a sub before the hype train. Oh, I missed it. But thank you, or user, as well for that. Uh, let's see. And thank you for the 100 bits. Let me double check that one. Because, yeah, I'm a little focused on what I'm doing. Yep. Been gone for a while, but I'm back. Well, welcome back. That's what it was. Okay, if you want to destroy the blimp balloons, place down a cannon. Uh, can't do that. No cannons on this run. Let's see. Do we want to just grab this? Yeah, let's grab this. I'm going to set this guy to strong. There we go. Because, yeah, having him hyper-focused strong units probably seems like a really good idea right now. Let's see. Yeah, might as well just have these guys start going down the wrath line. Yeah, I would like to go for a cannon round, uh, but I can't do it currently. Okay, now we might want to consider a second stealth stripper, just because I know we get a bunch of them soon. And also this way we can get the necromancer army going. Uh, let's see, there's also maps that specifically limit you to only magic. Yeah, but I can do it voluntarily anyway. Hey, and thank you, Acme Boy, for the 35 month resub. Good to catch a stream. Hope you have a good day, Wander. Yeah, I have done nothing with myself today. This this has been my day so far. I rolled out of bed and said, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play balloons. And that's where we're at. Probably means maybe an earlier stream end, maybe not. I don't know. I one of the things that I'm gonna try and do, uh I'm sure a number of you guys have heard me talk about trying to take more days off as kind of like a, a means of uh, kind of controlling my life, even. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, save up for rubber to gold at this point. Uh, and so last couple, last week-ish, I was definitely kind of just like, oh shit. Um, I got a little, 
I got a little dicey there. Let's grab some chain lightning, I guess. There we go. These guys got it. It's fine. And did I forget to get rubber to gold? I did. I might want to get another one of those. Uh, let's see, in the larger potions. And then I'll get a third alchemist down here just so they can spread the love. And then we'll go back to making just Druid Alley. Druid Hell? I don't know. Bit of both, really. Okay, once you beat a map on hard, you unlock an alternate hard difficulty thing to just access magic monkeys. Got it. Uh -oh. But so, I think initially when I first started taking the day off, I was like really, really actively saying like, hey, I need to take more specific time off here. Uh, so I was working less. But now that I've had my couple of days to just absolutely potato, now I'm just kind of like, all right, so my work days are going to be like hard work days and my day days off are going to be almost completely just day off days. And so far, that's actually working really well for me. Uh, I am like a thousand times more motivated to get up and stream. But I think it also helps that I really like the games that I have uh, to currently stream and record. Makes my life a lot easier. Let's see. What do we think? Put this guy here. That hopefully gives him the stimulant effects. At least for a couple of those. And then I'll just center a bunch of druids up in this area. Let's see, now are these guys all pretty much maxed out? Except for the fact that I can get Avatar of Wrath. Well, he looks fun. He looks very expensive. Welcome to Druid Hell. Now, where do I go with this group? Oh. Oh, plus extra cash per banana farm. So probably not the most immediately useful for this group. let some things through. Well, that actually works in my favor to some degree. Anyway, welcome to Druid Hell. <laughs> Look at him go. I guess honestly... Let's just get a couple of jungles bounty, even if we don't have the the useful adjacency bonus for the farms. Hey, thank you, Moto Moto uh, Moto Man Dan. There we go. I brain was on loop for a second, uh, but thanks for the sub and welcome on in. So, what's the highest level you've gotten to before the game breaks on you? I haven't actually gone very far. I usually dip out at about wave 100. Um, mainly just because I'm trying to get as much money as possible. Uh, and unlock a lot of things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a lot of work into, like, the really high-end content slightly later. Dang. That is ridiculous. Alright. Well, that only makes me, like, 200. Well... I don't really have a choice, but it looks like Jungle's Jungle's bounty is not amazing. Uh, well. I guess in that case, we should probably get Plasma Blasts just for that little bit of extra oomph as opposed to going for the extra cash.
It is shocking how effective distraction is. Okay, there we go. I would love to see, like, an overlay in this game where you can just uh, pull up, like, a DPS overview on a per-tower basis, but also a per-area basis. Alas, but it's fine. We... Okay, next up we start getting some ninjas. Shoot. I don't think I actually gave myself enough space here. All the ninjas I wanted. Well, it is what it is. It's only, yeah, 200. I mean, it's fine. It does show how many balloons they've popped. It's true. Also shows how much money they've made. I just, that super monkey is hard to beat. Then again, actually, this singular druid right here is just about as effective. Oh, I shouldn't have given him ultra vision. Turns out Ultra Vision is not actually that useful. Oh well. How much has this guy popped? So this Ninja mon Monkey is not actually particularly amazing. Comparatively. That this... This singular druid right here is the... This one? Huh. Yeah, this singular jungle's bounty druid has already achieved way more kills than pretty much anything else. Maybe I should sell it and switch him to be purely Thundermancy. What's this one do? Yeah, let's grab that. Oh, I don't have enough. We go for Superstorm. Yeah, main thing is we're not going to be able to get enough money to actually afford anything terribly useful yet. But that's okay. I'm just shocked at how just obscenely powerful this singular non-combat druid is. And, you know, it does pay for itself, slowly. Superstorm is not worth it. Good to know. Thing is, that's still 37,000. Like, that's a, that's a lot of money. Okay, well, in that case... I guess we start investing in this guy. Let's see, shoots from two guns at once. As an option. Yeah, we'll go Plasma Blast Robo Monkey. Certainly cheaper than going for, uh, going for the Avatar. But I think we're about to end this run anyway. That one tanky sucker. Oh, that was quick. Sort of. Now, how much money am I sitting on? 3,000. Okay. 
I collect... It's some more instant monkeys. Which I should probably consider using at some point, but like, eh. I don't know, it just feels weird. Okay, I wanted to grab double shot. Cheaper. Chance to distract balloons increase. Alright. Uh, let's see, what do we do next? Well, first and foremost, I can actually afford a new hero. I was going to pick up uh, Benjamin. Made to be broken. I don't actually... We'll see if he's useful. Downgrades most newly spawned balloons by one rank. Cash per pop. From affected balloons is double. Lash or uh, lasts for ten seconds. Good to know. Okay, let's let's take a look at my Chivos. No, that's daily rewards. Chivos are over here. Do I have any? Win a game for four different heroes. I guess that's a really easy early one. 